Seven Lamb Productions presents Kenneth Hyde Stories Edith Mrs. Catnip Part 2 Kitty cat? I headed down a dark alley. I saw a cat run down here. Maybe it was catnip. Here, kitty kitty. God damn it, catnip. It was now completely dark outside. I put forth my best detective skills. I would find catnip. I just knew it. Kitty? Catnip? Is that you? My flashlight beam was weak, and it was too dark to see the cat. But it could be catnip. I gave chase. I ran past the end of the building and jumped over a broken piece of fence. Catnip! I didn't realize how far I walked. I'd crossed Doppel Avenue Hurt 20 minutes ago, and I was already at the large Tamarind Lake docks. I made my way down some steps and onto a boardwalk. I jumped over a small gate with a no trespassing sign. It was eerily quiet. It was creeping me the fuck out. Then, a noise behind me. Who's there? I shined my flashlight at a small boathouse. Who's there? Don't shoot! It's just me, Joey Evernuckle. God damn it, Joey, you scared the shit out of me! Are you going to shoot me? I don't have a gun. Don't shoot me. I'm not. Oh, good. I thought you were going to shoot me with a gun or or something like a gun. What's like a gun? Something that shoots bullets. That is a gun. Guns are like guns. You're being fucking stupid. Why are you here? Are you following me? No. You're lying. No, I'm not. Believe me. Okay, keep your voice down. We're not supposed to be here. OMG, is this illegal? We're trespassing, so yes, it's illegal. Oh no, what if the cops come? We'll run. The cops ain't gonna catch me. Screw that. You don't have to run. If the cops come, I'll protect you. What the hell does that mean? I'll fight them. I'm I'm a badass now. Did I tell you I started working out? I boxed a kangaroo yesterday. You did not. I swear to God, look at this. Joey pulled a tuft of hair from his back pocket. It's kangaroo hair. Why do you carry kangaroo hair with you? I pull one piece of hair every time I win a match against the kangaroo. I've won like 40 times. The kangaroo does the same to me when he wins. When Joey stepped closer, I examined his head and noticed a full head of hair. You're not missing any fucking hair. He doesn't take it from my head. Ew! Tell me about it. He's won like 100 matches. My pubic region is patchy as fuck. Can I go back to looking for my cat now? I have to find him before he gets fucking hurt. Is that what we're doing? I'll help you find him. Fine. Let's go. Wait. I have to get my friend. It's safe to come out now. Another person emerged from the boathouse. He carried a newspaper. He crumbled it up and tossed it aside. I told him to stay put in the boathouse until I made sure the coast was clear. Who the hell is that? It's my bestest friend ever, Devin Duke. Hey, I'm Devin Duke. I know, Joey just fucking said that. Wanna know a little more about me? Not really. I need to find my cat. Well, I'm gonna tell you anyway. My name is Devin Duke. I was born on the rocky shores of Northern Ireland while my parents were vacationing. I own two dogs, one golden retriever and one cocker spaniel that has two left feet. I adopted a young Puerto Rican child when I was only 12 years old and raised him until he was the same age that I adopted him. Then I let him loose. My parents died shortly after my 16th birthday. Like, really shortly. They both simultaneously choked on a leftover birthday cake after my party. 
I have no pinky toes and no middle name. I like backgammon, clocks, kick cereal. Oh, and the smell of newly applied mascara. Oh, also, my favorite actor is Mary Kate Olsen's sister. You know, the one with the hair. And my least favorite actor is Dan Marino in Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Um, that was really fucking weird. He's my best friend. Stop shouting. Can we just go look for my cat now? The three of us walked along the boardwalk. The only sound was the ripple of the water around the dock posts. I know that meow. That's catnip. He was close. We headed up some stairs onto another boardwalk. This way. I don't hear him anymore. Shh. Someone's coming this way. I turned off my flashlight and the three of us hid behind a stack of wooden boxes. I peeked out through a crack. Two men came out from behind a warehouse. They both carried guns. The cops. I don't think they're cops. Oh no. Are they going to shoot us in the face? Shut up. Maybe they have your cat hostage. Why would they have my cat? I don't know. Maybe they're dog people. Dog people are fucking stupid. Whoa, hey now. I have dogs. We know. One of them has two left feet. I think those are bad people. The two men wore bandanas, red ones. They reached the wooden boxes and stopped. One of them lit a cigarette. Yo, when is this thing going down? Sue, we gotta head over there. Marcel wants his back covered. Man, they're coming from the water. We don't got shit to worry about. If this deal goes bad, we just pop a cap in their asses. You don't fucking understand. What? He is going to be here. Who? Him. The most ruthless killing machine known to traverse this land. Godzilla? No. Soze. What? That can't be. Why do you think Marcel is scared? Yo, if Soze is here, we don't stand a chance. As long as everything goes according to plan, we should be fine. Now, come on. Marcel is waiting. We remained absolutely still as the two bandana guys walked off. What was that all about? Who's Soze? You don't know? Joey and I looked at Devin's horrified face. Soze is a horrible, horrible killer. Remember that prison break and massacre on Burn Street? Yeah, like 50 people died. All by the hands of Soze. No fucking way. I'm serious. The guy is bad news. I heard he once killed a man by coughing on him. He's also known to kill puppies and children. Whew. There's no end to this guy's ruthlessness. And his name is Soze? Well, his full name is Paul Riser Soze. Paul Riser Soze? Isn't Paul Riser a famous... Yes, yes. Do you guys know nothing? Paul Riser has a twin brother also named Paul Riser. Paul Riser's parents decided naming both their sons Paul was a bad idea, and therefore had to get rid of one of them to end the constant confusion. They couldn't just rename one of their sons? They didn't even think of that. Instead, they got rid of the youngest brother. I thought they were twins. They were. They got rid of the brother that was born one minute after the other one. The older brother went on to star in such hit movies as Aliens, The Thing About My Folks, and Whiplash, along with hit TV series such as My Two Dads and Mad About You. The younger brother mm, ended up getting adopted by some thugs, and was raised in a minor faction of the Mexican cartel. He received the name Soze after the faction's main leader. So one was a famous star and the other one a thug? Well, Paul Reiser Soze actually did star in some minor TV roles. He played Paul Reiser's cousin in an episode of Mad About You, and he had a bit part in an early episode of Friends as Monica's boyfriend's handsome brother. He went under the stage name Carl Smothers. Oh. But when actor Paul Reiser found out that Paul Reiser Sose, or Carl Smothers, wasn't just an acting extra and actually his adopted brother turned drug lord, he blacklisted him from Hollywood. How did he do that? 
He just wrote Paul Reiser Soze on a black piece of paper. That's how you freaking blacklist someone? Yep. Man, I can't believe Paul Reiser Soze is going to be here. We need to get out of here, and fast. Not without my catnip. Well, I'm not sticking around. Devin stood up and surveyed the area. He then ran off back the way we came. Not more than a minute later, a fishing boat pulled up to a near dock. Several armed men walked up to it, waiting. Edith, we should go. Seriously! If you want to go, go! I'm not fucking scared! Well, I'm not going to go if you don't. I'll help you find your cat. But when we find your cat, will you watch me perform my new dance move? I don't want to see your dumbass dance move. Come on, just watch it. Ugh, fine. After we find catnip. Okay, let's be careful though. There's a lot of gangsters here and... <gasps> Look! I followed Joey's gaze to the now docked fishing boat. Six armed men descended the boat ramp. They wore black jackets. Another man, dressed in a trench coat, slowly followed. Oh no! He's here! It's Paul Reiser Soze! Kenneth Height Stories Edith Mrs. Catnip Written and edited by Robert M. Lamb Starring Amy LeRae as Edith Robert M. Lamb as Joey Chris DeToli as Devin Co-starring Jack Austin Zane Sexton and Jose Caraballo Music provided by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com If you enjoy this podcast, don't forget to rate and review Visit www.7lamb.com for more podcasts such as this one. This has been a Seven Lamb production.